for something that you all see. Bird is in all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place. I don't care how tough you are. It will beat you, bring you down to your knees, and keep you there if you hit it. But it isn't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get it and keep moving forward. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Those are the words from a father and son dialogue from a movie, Rock. Yes, it was from a movie. A movie which is close to my heart. I'm not into boxing, but I believe this movie has a message for each and every one of us to keep moving forward irrespective of our ups and downs in my life. I have faced a few obstacles in my life, even though they were not so big. But if we look retrospectively, it beat me down, busted my egos, hit me so hard that I was afraid to get back on my feet every single time. There were three instances in my life which taught me, no matter what we achieve, no matter what we lose, we need to keep moving forward. The first instance happened when I was studying my 12th standard. I was an average student by then. I, was, I inquired to one of my relatives which course to join after completing my 12th standard. He told me, why don't you join BSc Computer Science? I told him, I'm very much interested in engineering. I wanted to pursue it. He mocked at me saying, you are an average student. You won't be able to clear engineering entrance exam. That hurt me very badly. I wanted to have a verbal fight with him, but I just remained silent. I just told myself, is isn't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get it and keep moving forward. I studied very hard. I secured 789th rank in all over Tamil Nadu in engineering entrance exam and got into one of the top three engineering colleges that is Government College of Technology, Coimbatore. The second instance happened when I was studying my final year engineering. I was very much interested to pursue my higher education in IAM. I, didn't, I was not able to clear the CAT that year. I wanted to try for a CAT the very next year without joining any job, even though I got placed in TCS that, in my final year. I took the courage of not joining any job and trying CAT the next year. But I failed miserably even the next year. It was almost a knockout moment for me, not only because I failed in CAT, but also because I didn't have any job offer in my hand. I was almost mentally destroyed. I tried to get back on my feet and started searching for a job. I was a 2010 pass out. And I, <clears throat> when I started searching for the job next year, it was 2011 and companies were more willing to give offer, job offers only to 2011 pass out but not for 2010. It added mental stress for me. Every day my friends and relatives started mocking at me saying, even after studying so hard, you ended up being jobless. I didn't have the courage to face them. But one day, I questioned myself, what am I doing? Why am I afraid of? Yes, I made a mistake by taking a huge risk of not having a job at hand and failed miserably. But does that make me a loser for my entire life? Definitely not. I told myself, it isn't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get it and keep moving forward. I learned Java, a programming language, 
with due diligence the thought of will i ever get a job was keep kept was coming to my mind every now and then but i didn't lose hope in exactly 100 days i got a job from a company named islanders technologies in bangalore i worked there exactly 4 years throughout my stint in that company i won a number of accolades and appreciations <coughs> even though i was wandering a year of being a jobless i still managed to do professionally better the third instance happened was is related to public speaking even though i was very good in studies in my college i lacked the courage when it comes to public speaking many a times even though i was good in the content i was not able to deliver a good speech or a public presentation every time i flopped after that i joined those masters even though i was not quite active in between today i am here delivering my cc10 project i believe one of the best gifts the god has given me is my self belief friends it isn't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward it is about how much you can take and keep moving forward and that's how a winning is done it isn't about uh, hitting hard it isn't about taking that we are not bad we are because of him because of her because of anybody cowards do that and we are much better than that whenever we believe start believing in ourselves that's where the winning starts i played a number of times in my life and these three instances are just an example every time i supported myself believed in my skills and stood on my knees until we start believing in ourselves we are going to have a life it's it isn't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get it and keep moving forward over to you mr